Welcome back to Pronto Plus TV. My name is Mike Colangione, and today we're going to be discussing bed bugs and the workplace. Have you ever wondered how you can get bed bugs from just going to work? Or what do you do if a coworker has bed bugs and you're afraid that you might bring them home to your loved ones? Businesses across the country are facing high percentages of bed bug cases. And now you're concerned with whether or not you could come to work bed bug free and leave with a bed bug epidemic. Now let's take a look at some steps that you can take to make sure that your office space is bed bug free. Bed bugs aren't choosy when picking a place to find and call their home. Some of the five star hotels out there to even the cleanliest of offices to some of the messiest of places are infested with bed bugs. When looking at your cubicle, it doesn't matter whether you have drawers filled with stuff or a drawer that is sparse with nothing. Even food in your drawers doesn't affect whether a bed bug will find and call it home. Let's take a look at some steps that you can take to inspect your cubicle to make sure that when you leave work, you're leaving bed bug free. You don't have to be a bed bug inspector to take the steps that the professionals take to ensure that your cubicle is bed bug free. If you can, bring a flashlight to work. Take a good look around the electrical outlets. Look around your computer monitors and also your computer towers, making sure to check inside of any of the slots where bed bugs might find harborage. Look inside of the outlet covers, behind any of the wire covers as well. If you have any shoes or food or any bags, a workout bag, a briefcase, a laptop bag, take a good look around those as well. You might want to move them out of the way and also inspect inside, ensuring that your cubicle will be bed bug free. Remember, when inspecting for bed bugs in your cubicle, a bed bug can be as small as the top of a sharpened pencil all the way as big as a raisin. If you can stick the corner of a piece of paper into an outlet, a bed bug can find harborage in there. They also can transfer from one cubicle to the next. So make sure that you're checking every crack and crevice in every outlet, every wire cover, and especially your computer tower, so that you can be bed bug free. Even though many offices take proactive approaches and hire extermination companies that come in on a bi-weekly or a monthly program, or they even have a canine bed bug dog inspection on a regular basis, there are some proactive steps that you can take as an employee that can keep your cubicle bed bug free. Some things to keep in mind. Keep all of your bags, like your workout bag, your luggage, your laptop bag, even a knapsack if you bring it to work, off the ground floor and off the carpet. If you wear a jacket, try to keep it off of the floor. Place it on a hook or on the back of your chair, making sure that it doesn't get caught in the wheels or hang close enough to the floor that it could pick up a bed bug. Another tool in your toolbox that you can use while at the workplace is purchasing an over-the-counter spray like Pronto Plus. It's a bed bug spray that will help you keep your cubicle bed bug free. There are many things that you can do with this, like spraying it during around the outlets, placing it on the corners of your workspace, making sure that you always follow the instructions as per the label. Very important. And remember, speak to your employer if you're ever concerned that a coworker has a bed bug infestation and you're concerned that they might bring it into the workplace. Or you might have heard that the building has bed bugs. Most offices don't inhabit every floor of a building. So if a floor beneath you or above you or adjacent to your office has bed bugs, a concern of yours is, can it transfer into your work environment? The answer to that question is yes. Speak to your employer always. And remember, to stay bed bug free, you want to take a proactive approach. It's better to be prepared than not prepared at all. So you've taken all the proactive measures to keep your cubicle and office space bed bug free. And now it's been confirmed that your office building and your office workspace is dealing with a bed bug epidemic. There are some steps that you can take to keep the bed bugs at work and not bring them home. Make sure that when you are returning home from work, that you take all of the clothing that you've worn and follow the label to wash them either in a washer and a dryer or to bring them to the dry cleaners. It's important that when washing clothing at home or at the laundromat, that you wash all of the clothing on high heat and use detergent as well as using a dryer on high heat. Something else to keep in mind. If you travel with a pocketbook or a backpack, it's important at this time, while the building is being treated, to limit the items to necessities that you need at work. Only bring what's important to you, like a license or maybe medication that is needed. Bringing in a bag to work and keeping it in an environment where a bed bug infestation has been identified is an open area to bring bed bugs home. So we've covered some valuable tips on how to stay bed bug free in the workplace. We've showed you how to inspect your cubicle and your workspace for bed bugs. We've also told you how to handle a bed bug infestation at the workplace and how not to bring it home. Always remember, the key to staying bed bug free is staying educated about bed bugs. 
I thank you for joining us today on Pronto Plus TV. I'm Mike Colangione, and we'll see you soon.